Knee gapping is a technique we teach our patients for them to do at home, which complements what we do in, in the clinic when we're working on somebody with a hip or knee problem. It's very easy. You need a couple items. You need a, a hand towel, about yay big, okay? And a yoga strap. You don't necessarily have to use a yoga strap. You can get away with it by using a, like a men's tie or a bathrobe tie, a piece of rope, something like that. But it can't be stretchy, okay? So a TheraBand is not going to work. So we have our two items. Why we do this, too, it helps the patient improve their range of motion either for extension and flexion. So if someone comes in and they can't, the knee range is, is limited, we definitely work on it here, but we want them to work on it, too, at home. So, take the towel, fold it in half, fold it in half again, and we're going to roll it up nice and tight because you want this to be rather dense. The size is going to depend on your size. So you have to maybe play with a little bit and um, smaller is okay, bigger is okay. Everyone is individual. So we take the towel. We're going to do this laying down. Do a laying down or kind of sitting, long sitting like this. Take the towel, and you're going to put it deep in the pit of your knee, firmly. Bend the knee so that the knee kind of, the towel kind of stays there. Then the strap. You're going to put the strap in front of the ankle, okay? Then crisscross it behind the ankle, okay? Why would we do that? Because if you just put it in front and then pull, this, the, the belt has a tendency of sliding up in the shin and can rub your tibia and hurts. So we put it behind, crisscross, okay, and I'm going to lay back so you can watch. I'm going to pull, the foot stays on the bed or the floor, wherever you are, and I'm going to pull straight up. It's really important not to deviate one side or the other because that can tweak your knee pretty, pretty firmly and it can be, aggravate your knee actually. So you want to make sure that you're pulling. You want to make sure the roll is right in there. Close it up. And you pull the heel toward your bum. You pull it up just until you feel a little stretch in the front. You're going to feel it somewhere in the front of the knee. And it's going to be very mild. So you pull it up until you feel the stretch. Once you feel the stretch, you stop right at that spot. You keep your heel on the bed or floor, and you're gonna paddle your foot. Your foot's gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down. Do it 10, 12 times. After the 10, 12 times, I stop, and I take a body check. And I see, okay, do I still feel the stretch in my knee? Uh, no, I don't feel it much. So I pull it up a little bit. Up oh, there's the stretch again. Then hold and paddle my foot up and down 10 times. Okay, after 10 times, body check, uh, I still feel the stretch, so I'm not going to pull up anymore. I'm going to leave it here and do 10 more. Okay, 10 more paddling of the foot, and you're really trying to pull that foot up as far as you can. Okay, uh, I don't feel the stretch now. I pull up a little bit more. Oh, there it is. And I paddle up and down, up, down, 10 times. So you do three to four sets of 10. After my three or four sets of 10, I ease it off, give it a minute, and you can repeat the whole sequence again. And that's knee gapping. 